Um, so one of my favorite memories of playing music for somebody was uh, um, just same thing. Somebody hired me and uh, asked me to sing a really great song. It's a, what's that one? Um, Somewhere beyond the, whatever that one's called. You know the the, the buble. Fucking, yeah, finding uh, yeah, but it's it's before. I think it's an old Sinatra or something like that. Anyway, I remember I really enjoyed oh, learning the sea? that one. Beyond the sea. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you were literally just really, Bob, yeah, Bobby. I just Darren. sang it. Bobby yeah. Darren. It was Thank Bobby you. Darren. Yeah. Beautiful song. Musician. Uh, I remember really enjoying learning that one. I was like, when I finished, I was like, fuck, this is a nice song. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to keep this one in. So did it. Wedding was great. Off with a hitch. No problem. Then about, uh, like a year later, I think I got another call to do another wedding and somebody was like, Oh, we want you to do beyond the sea. And I was like, yeah, no problem. I love that song. It's fucking great. So I show up and it's the same woman. Marrying a new guy. No, 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 no. I didn't realize it. I didn't. I honest to God, I did not realize it until I was about like the second verse, and then she did the same little dippity dance thing that she did in the same spot, and I was like, no, whoa. And then I was like, I was like, she just loves this fucking song. I was like, she just couldn't let it go. Like, I didn't ask. I didn't get to any bottoms of the story. But I remember, was like, remember watching like you know syndicator TV after school, and you go, I was like, have I seen? Have, I think I've seen. That's this, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen was, this I've, episode. Like, I was in a rerun. Yeah, <laughs> I was in a fucking rerun. Sequel, actually, and, uh, sequel or reboot, like, reimagining yeah. whatever. You, oh my god. The worst part is, I'm such a fucking egomaniac. I only thought about how good of a job I must have done. <laughs> to have her just be like, wow, I just, I, I don't care, guys. That was the right well, guy for it. They're we like, can, yeah, we, the we can blame, we can blame so many things for the wedding falling apart. <laughs> we can't blame. Just completely oblivious, like, and you're being polite when the bride's family are coming up, like, good to see you again. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> second verse, cover. same as the first. A little bit louder. <laughs> uh, somewhere beyond. And I was like, uh, yeah, so anyway, that was a good one. Uh, I look forward to a third at some point. Uh, <laughs> Have you ever wondered what it's like to grow up in the 80s? And he has sitcoms and where's the beef ladies? Then you need to listen in your car or at work. Now it's time for Keith is a Jerk! What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Keith is a Jerk. Uh, my name is Keith, and I am joined by my co-host. We've got uh, Run from Run DMC. What are you saying there, Dave? <laughs> little throwback to 80s 80s hip hop in the wear there I like it could you uh, please stop stepping on my fucking gimmick Keith I yeah. swear to god dude I mean I'm not gonna lie to you I do request run DMC at every wedding I go to mm. it's it's the right choice it's like that um, <laughs> uh, and the big Lebowski is joining us what's going on Ryan I abide um, we're being hosted by Keith's like smart scientist twin brother tonight wearing glasses very studious uh, my disability yes thank you <laughs> uh, what are we talking about today we're gonna do weddings yeah yeah I don't think we've ever talked about weddings not much after we do this do you have to like take a bunch of calls and do tech help for Apple <laughs> I wish, man. That's good work. <laughs> As I touch my glasses. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can. I can punctuate my stories now. Mm. I can be like, hold on, you got a story? Yeah, there you mm. go. Yeah. God, we're dicks. And that was when I knew. <laughs> what a fucking writer I am. I'm gonna um, need you to turn it off and then turn it back on. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I talk to my wife. Hi yo. Uh, th- oh, this, this podcast needs a fucking factory reset immediately. <laughs> Seriously. All right. Much like our weddings. Right, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, where do we jump in on this one? Uh, attended or our own? Well, you're, you know, you're a married man. Ryan, you're mm-hmm. a married man. We're all married men. Mm. Um, oh, you know what? Sorry. <laughs> I was talking about to Keith earlier, just about being an old... Oh, white gloves. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a comment there. Uh, you know what's man, good, Ryan? Gentlemen in waiting. Watch. Gentlemen in yeah. waiting. <laughs> so let's uh, tell some stories to make Ryan look good, and we'll put yeah. his we'll put his email on the the podcast link <laughs> for yeah, any so ladies. <laughs> well, I don't get to flex my rapping skills, so what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, not good. That's a fair point. That might be why you're not married. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so I don't know. I didn't know if we wanted to start with our own or if we want to start with, like, just crazy shit at weddings. Because I'll be honest, at first I was like, I don't know if I have too many. I'll uh, just, I'm going to start with my... Uh, go ahead. I, I'll throw one right out of the gate. Uh, this go. is one I attended, clearly. Yep. This was not my own. <laughs> uh, this... <laughs> You don't need. I, let's just make a deal right from the right from here. No deal. You don't have no. to preface any more no. of your stories that it's no. not your own. I gotta it's say, okay. Dave, your laugh is coming along just fine. Je- he has a <laughs> chest cold. He was worried about his laugh. It seems to be just fine. Yeah, it'll uh, be fine. Okay, fuck it. It does. It does feel like we are giving you that kind of little kid thing of like, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Just yeah. give me a little head rub. It's okay there. Yeah. Little, uh, like when the Jewish kid comes over and has Christmas and you know ish near your house, and they're just like, ah, it's you know, you're fine. Oh yeah, Warren. it's adorable. You're acting yeah. like you had Jewish friends growing up. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> I was trying to. I don't actually. You might be right. I don't think not. Not like as a kid. You know. Hold on. Uh... <laughs> no. No, not until I uh, started working in show business. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> like three to one, your wedding's going to be scheduled at City Hall in a five minute window, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I I am the king. I've I. They're all white trash weddings that I've got stories. For. Oh, I've got a I've Hands got down. a I've got a mixed bag. I'll start with a, a wealthier Please. a wealthier wedding. This was my Let's do it. My first big boy suit. I was mm. uh I was in how the, old? Oh shit! I was like thirty. Like, dude, I've been a writer okay. my whole life. I've never had like a real serious writer job or like corporate job or anything like that yeah so um the friend is doing better than me we'll leave it at that financially and he's Fair. he's a very uh fashion conscious guy like he dresses very well he looks great but yeah, he's getting married yeah i no, don't like remember dated. You inviting you to my wedding though like <laughs> <laughs> anyway tell the story i have so many stories from dave's wedding oh no um uh so anyway so like uh they go baller treatment they go to, like oh, they go to uh, Harry Rosen, an expensive place, and my buddy, he, oh, he, yeah, he kind of yeah. gives me, like we're talking, the little head rub talk. He's like, uh, Ryan, if you can't afford this, you know, I can help Ooh. you out with this seat. And I just, you know, I jump into, like, defensive. Just, Fuck that. No, I got this shit. Oh, I got no. this, yes. boo. Like, yeah. So we uh, we get fit. that is the antithesis of what is wrong with weddings right there that that's moment part of right it. there yeah, where it's just that's like part of it I'm just gonna I have to eat shit to make you feel good and like all you're yeah. doing is worrying and just putting on this facade for fucking and if you're in the wedding party it's like a facade for like three four five six months whatever the fuck mm. it is oh, it's you know the what worst, I mean man. and then unless yeah. you're a close friend don't fucking ask me to be in your wedding yeah. yeah. So I, I got fit for the suit, and, like, I'm into, like, I've never had this before, and it looks fucking dope. Mm. Like, this is an expensive sure. suit. And it's a, char- yeah, yeah, it's a, nice it's a charcoal color suit that I can wear to everything, and I fucking have, believe me. Yeah. Uh, so we go. Ryan's fucking praying for people to die Oh, now. God, yeah. <laughs> can I go to, like, the bar mitzvah for some of your Jewish friends yeah. there, Keith, or something? Or <laughs> You can go to both of theirs, yeah. <laughs> so I go up. I, for some reason, I'm, like, the first to go to the till. I have no idea. And they're, like, they bring it up, you know. Oh. They're like, no. that'll be, I don't remember the hold exact Hold on, hold number. on, let's play a game. Let's okay. play a game. Dave, you and I got a guess. So this is where, sorry, where are you going to get to buy this suit? Oh, this is uh, Harry Rosen. Harry Rosen, Harry Rosen. Eaton, Eaton Center, uh, Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, custom or off the shelf? Custom. Like off, yeah, oh, fucking like right custom? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like you went in and you got I was got, fit, like, like I was fit that day. Yeah, yeah, I was fit that day. Ooh. Wait, same day fitting and then you buy? Yeah. Like you pay and then they tailor it, yeah. right? You can, you can tell where Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm familiar with the, They tailor it, then the you format. run out of the store wearing the freshly tailored suit. <laughs> they put the pins uh, in another it. Another one. Put the pins Dave shows up, he's out. got the chalk lines on yes, his exactly. fucking suit. <laughs> Little pins in my heat, my cuffs. I do. Is that not normal? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess 2800 Dave? I'm gonna go. I'm I'm thinking he's low on the risk of going over. I'm gonna say fifty two hundred. That mm. is, yeah, it was twenty three. That's crazy. It was twenty three. There you go. All Boom. Right. And I didn't know this. That's a I, lie. Honestly, I had like I, I have no I have no, no baseline. No, no fuck. I had to buy the shoes separate. And like yeah, anyway. Yeah. And oh, she, let's see if we can get you there. How, <laughs> shoes were separate, so let's let's get. Shoes, yeah. shoes were another ninety. Shoes were another ninety. That I had to. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Ooh. so she rings it up and I don't know why I've never bought a suit in my life. For some reason I had like $900 in my head and then right. she announces the price and I'm like, mm, 
and I'm like, there, there's a line behind me of the rest of the groomsmen, and I'm like, oh, that is totally fine. You know what? Uh, I'm going to put away my debit card and take out my credit card so I can get some air miles on this transaction. Uh, yeah, that's sad. Actually, I'm going to use two credit cards to get <laughs> twice as many air miles. <laughs> I like to spread it out. I don't like my credit card companies thinking I'm just giving them all my business at she, once. She's fucking swiping it up, and like, I've got a face like I'm about to take a punch. Like, okay, this is, you know, 60 40 shot of going through it best and it went through and like honestly god bless my credit card company they called me within 20 minutes to make sure this wasn't <laughs> fucking fraud i was honestly in the food court like after buying this suit and like <laughs> oh yeah then you gotta buy lunch after that that's great <laughs> you seem to have been really irresponsible to purchase is that you today ryan yeah oh my god yeah so the best part is my number and dave's number was probably right because by the time you factor in how long it took you to pay it off with the credit card interest, <laughs> it probably wasn't the five thousand dollars. The collection, yeah, Mr. Leclerc. There seems to be an unusual purchase. We have usually just the Jug City followed by <laughs> Jugs City, the adult store. Those are the only things you usually purchase with your credit card. We notice a large sum coming out of the Eaton Center today. Is that you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Oh God. Okay, damn, just that's making great. sure, sir. The fact that they fucking noticed and called you is something. <laughs> in the food court, in the same mall. It was, I'm like, it e I, just, I just spent 23. I'm eating Arby's for fuck's sake. Like, oh, yeah, you got to treat yourself. Yeah. I'm having like the five That's roast fucking... beef sandwiches for five bucks or whatever and taking two home You're with me. You're going to fucking, you are going to Lime Rickies and you are getting that top hat <laughs> ice cream thing and you are like, fucking set me up, John. Yeah. This is um, how I live now. <laughs> I was raised by frigging monkeys and like as I was telling Keith earlier before the podcast like I had no idea it, like even in my almost mid 20s I had no idea what weddings really were all about we were not ever really invited and if I was I was dragged along mm -hmm. I was so dressed in I was dressed up in that old cranberry suit the one I had from the time I was like you know just the end of high school right all the way through to my 20s I yeah was I mean, when I first started dating my wife, I was in a wedding of my best friends, and we grew up together, and we had no idea. Like, I had no idea that there was, like, uh, it was, like, a week before, and my wife finally, you know, we had been dating for a couple months, and she's like, you know, their wedding's coming up pretty soon. Are, are you... Uh, uh, like is there a bachelor party or uh, <laughs> any kind of uh, any kind of wedding i'm like i don't know <laughs> like i'm yeah. not gonna lie to you <laughs> fuck well, i'd love to go i would love like, to yeah, go that would be fun <laughs> well d did you do anything did you do any gifts they like and I'm, I just, she could just see immediately, like, she's already gone through. <laughs> she can just oh. watch the Bo and Dave shame of <laughs> yeah. just dropping down, realizing he's supposed to have done something. She realizes, like, it's like when you buy, um, it's like, it's like kind of a regret of purchase. Like, you could just see how much more work. <laughs> <laughs> that she knew she had to put into me. She'd already cleaned up my closet. She's got She'd, buyer's remorse. Yeah, her, yeah exactly. Her, her credit like, card company called her about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, she didn't get a Harry Rose and fucking suit. Like some kids, it's like when you pick a toy. Like some kids get the luck of the draw where everything's put together. She got. <laughs> She, she got, got Lego. She got a bag set. of Lego. Yeah, yeah bag she, got of Lego. A bag of, she got a bag of Lego, and it, there's no instructions. So It's the bag of Lego from Value Village, though, where they just or, yeah, I was going to say garage sale yeah. in a Ziploc bag, there's, and there's, there's a key man in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of it's discolored. Like, <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's a perfect analogy. Now, think back to it, because I know Corey as well, so I'm trying to think how many times leading up to the wedding did you have to give Corey like, a, a drive somewhere? And have him just be like, oh, we're going to rehearsal, huh? Com completely oblivious. <laughs> Com like, I, we just, we oh, hung out. Like, right, normally, Dave. We're and just started, going to work. So I had just started, yeah, I had started dating my wife, too. So I'm completely selfish at this point. I've got my own thing going on. And they're getting married. I'm supposed oh to be, I'm supposed to be invested into what they're doing. Apparently, that's what you're supposed to do when you're a, bit, a part of a wedding. <laughs> and uh, oh, that's great. That's and amazing. Not me. I that's was amazing. And, I look back at it with regret, and, and but at the same time, too, like, the fuck, you don't know anything until you don't, like, I was raised literally by the most antisocial people in, my, in that you could, right, that you could yeah, be Yeah, you've never by. been, you don't know the customs, like, that's fair. My father mm, wasn't you know. invited to weddings, are you kidding me? <laughs> right. My dad's the one that drove up to weddings in his cop car and broke them up, like, that's the hick town <laughs> we came from. That would be my family. That's yeah, who, exactly. Yeah, you would yeah, come. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to harp on my family, because actually, uh, with weddings, fucking awesome. Uh, the thing I love, I uh, will say my preferred weddings that if I have to attend to, 
my family was awesome at doing weddings where my aunt, like I remember when my cousin got married and like all the families just like made the food. There was no catering. You didn't bring mm-hmm. that shit in. Right. You know, somebody, and it was so fucking good. The food was so much better. Like everybody just has a good time. People had shit to talk about. My like, dad did get into one fist fight at the end of a wedding, <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't entirely his fault. Put a he pin in that one. Dude, Put in the pin in that he one. He saw a dude yelling at a woman, yeah. and he was like, he went over <laughs> and he was trying to like break it up. He was trying to be the hero, but he was pretty drunk, and, uh, <laughs> and so and so uh, 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 Mr. Marsh just fucking. Uh, <laughs> They, they're jawing back and forth and i think this guy of course he's a bit drunk too and they're jawing and so my dad ended up hitting him and then uh everybody's coming up and they're like oh what the hell you know and it's like you know the groom's uncle lou or some shit i don't know his name <laughs> yeah we're all standing around someone watching, really by viable the to the, the bride yeah, groom. the best part is it was end of the night and i was like fuck like wow what an enjoyable night i had with my family mm-hmm. like that was that was crazy you know what i mean like i was just like what an anomaly mm-hmm. and then yeah just you just hear it at the corner yeah what <laughs> and then you're just like, oh fuck! And then, so, and then I guess it turns out they weren't really. Uh, it wasn't that much of a scuffle. I think it was kind of a, a joke argument that these two were having. And uh, my dad just wanted to be a hero, and uh, you know they don't tell the stories where Batman's wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know. Do you remember yeah. the first wedding you went to? Like, yeah, my dad fist fought a guy. <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember like the first one you went to that like people spent money on like a catered? Like, oh, yeah. Ritzy, ritzy wedding where it's like, yeah. hey, mm-hmm. no matter what you do, mm-hmm. uh, because of like <laughs> of who I am and who you are, we're underdressed the moment we walk in. Hands down. Yeah. There's there's no chance that anything we have that to wear no. at a wedding is going to look good enough. Yep. And then no. It, and it's just and you're like, always oh going to start God. with. You're always going to start with, well, my fucking jeans cost more than your whole suit, bro. You know what I mean? Like, that's, yeah, that's what everybody's going to say in that. That's that's a dirtbag comment, you know, is what they're going to say. But it, it like, kind of sets a standard and be like, holy shit. Like, where you're looking around like, I don't, this is not where I need to be right now. And you just, like, I you turn into, like, I'm just going to open bar and I'm just eat all the food and make a complete ass of myself. Mm Mm-hmm. Um quick one on that it's not really even a good story but same thing where this guy was marrying uh this guy when i was a doorman he was a doorman uh he didn't have any friends and just invited all of us Mm. he'd only been working there for about two weeks from the and we were like all right i guess like same thing i'm like i'll fucking go you know steak shrimp lobster like this was fucking done up man it was a big wedding Four days later, she moved out. <laughs> yes. I've always said the bigger the wedding, the shorter the marriage. Ooh, <laughs> it's, it's proven, fa- it's proven it's worthy so to me. It's so um, true. Then yeah, I, so I, go ahead, Ryan. I was going to say, then I have a story for a couple that will be together for eternity if you go the other <laughs> way. Uh, grew up in you know northern Ontario in a pretty yep. poor town in North Bay. I, I've got a lot of, yeah, dirtbag fucking shotgun weddings but uh i just missed one my buddy called me it was kind of the same things like he didn't know this guy he was dating a girl who was going to the wedding but he yeah. was basically asked to like stand with the fucking wedding party just because oh know, shit to, really to, to even out the numbers basically so he calls me oh my god he calls me from the wedding it's like i don't know like three in the afternoon i'm at home and he's like dude Get the fuck over here right now! You've got. You just got invited to a rando's this. wedding. Yeah, no, he's like, yeah, not rando. He'd been dating this girl for a while, and then there was like a week's notice. Hey, I need a date for the wedding. Okay, cool. And then boom, he's like standing. So he calls me but from. Why are you going? I'm not. He's he's called me from <laughs> oh, the wedding. Okay, okay. And he's like, get over here right now. He's like, you right, you have right, got right. to witness the greatest spectacle I have ever seen in my entire life. And I'm like, okay. Amazing. I'm like, where are you? Like the Legion, the Holiday Inn. He's like, oh no, I'm at. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, blah 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 arena. It's a ring at rink. Yeah. Which has right, like right. has a small buffet area. And he's there, and That's he's awesome. He's like, dude. He's like the groom is shit faced. The bride is drunker. He's like, the <laughs> the best man couldn't make it tonight because there was a league darts game that he couldn't miss at the bar down the street. Yeah. He's like, oh my God. he's like, ah, uh, he's like, this is why I'm standing here because like this, this is, you know, I don't know how far along she is in terms of trimesters, but my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I and, guarantee they're still together. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. get over here. You need to witness this right now. So I like, I take off and I'm, the, I, it's not far from my house. I'm there in like seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. Cause I'm, I'm fired up. I want to see this. Yeah. Yeah. And I get there and he's like, he's the only one left. 
and he's Everyone's like, "Everyone's gone." Yeah, he's like, "Yeah, he's like, I it wasn't a priest. It was whatever justice of the peace or whatever the fucking sure. Canadian yeah. equivalent is." He's like, "No, no, nobody will perform this wedding. You two are shit faced." <laughs> like, so they wouldn't oh, do it. No wouldn't way. Do it. Yeah, it was a uh, yeah, <laughs> and like I that's was, actually fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's a good story. Um, that just reminded me. I wasn't going to tell this one because I just thought of it now. I, I I don't know how this slipped my mind. Dave, uh, can I ask you a question? Of course. Have you ever um gone to a meeting with the mafia and then just crashed a wedding? Because oh, Ryan and I did. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <sighs> um, I have a horrible memory, but all right, uh, I'm going to say no. <laughs> so. I completely forgot about this. Uh, Ryan and I, I were scouting hate, for, I hate, I hate for one of story. our movies. I hate this for and one of our movies. <laughs> <laughs> one of our one of one of the many joint joint ventures that Ryan and I have been on. Yeah, because uh, we're we we're, we're Franco and Rogan, basically. Yeah, totally. Uh, oh, one one of our yeah. movies. Yeah. I you know the amount of times that we get mistaken is actually it's a little shocking. Yeah, because uh, it's zero. <laughs> and um, so anyway, we're going for this is the the. So obviously, I'm fuck am I saying the as if there's more? Um, for our Jake joins a call, we go up there for a scouting thing. So it's a first weekend. of all, there's a million right. people on this trip. Yeah, so it's, it's a weekend, a weekend. It's in crazy. Sudbury in the middle of the goddamn winter. I was involved in that. Yeah, and so we're we're at this thing, and uh, and they're like, you know, what do you guys want to do? Because we we're gonna eat dinner, and there was a big UFC that night, and I was like, I, you know, I was like, it, Ryan and I were just gonna go grab our hotel, and we were like, we're just gonna go grab some wings or something and watch some UFC. And this guy who's trying to pull out all the stops is like, no, 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 no. Let me take you to a place. I got a place. And we're like, all right. Like, you know, we're not there. Fucking treat and, away. And also, to be fair, we were up early and on our feet all goddamn day looking at locations. Yeah, it was, it was long day, And driving sure. outside. And I am starving. And I need a fucking drink. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, Both these things. Yes. So the, it takes us to a place. And literally, it's like, yeah, yeah, no. And we're like, all right, yeah, this seems cool. Like, they're going to have the fight on and stuff. And. And uh, he's like, all right, yeah, here, let me just introduce you to some guys from town. They're kind of, you know, important and stuff. Literally, as we're fucking walking over, hey, they're like mafia, so just be cool. Hey, uh, Don Vitale, <laughs> like, and I'm like, what? And so now I'm shaking hands with the fucking local mafia. A guys. lot of two-handed handshakes, too, by the way. Yeah. Hey, a lot of hand you on know? top. Here you go. Good. Make Introduced him. as friends of ours. Oh, movie yeah. guy. And, uh, movie guy. Don't break, yeah. don't break eye Yeah, contact. movie guy. They kept saying movie guy. They're all like 80. Yeah. They're all like 80 years old. These yeah. guys are fucking old good fellas, you know? Yeah. And, uh, so anyway, um, uh, we we're like, we're getting there kind of late and already I'm like, fuck, this is uncomfortable as hell. Like I did, I just want to watch also, UFC. This isn't a big deal. Also, Hold if, on, I, yeah, uh, if I can just chime in, uh, yeah. we wanted to go to a wild wings, you know, surrounded by big screen TVs. This place, uh, it's like an older Italians gentleman club or whatever. The area right. they're in has a bar, which is great for me. Uh, but the TV is like up in a corner and it's kind of yeah. small and the fucking sound is off. And we're like, <laughs> it's not good. No, uh, not the atmosphere. No. We're I'll in. be, I'll, yeah, I'll know who won, but that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, it gets a little worse. Uh, not for us. Um, but, uh, no, us, no, us, <laughs> everyone accepts, you know, the, uh, uh, what do you call them? The, uh, Boy, I don't want to be insulting here. I can't wait. Um, the gentleman. Um, so anyway. <laughs> the maid men. The maid men. <laughs> so we are in this location. And uh, Ryan, as he said, you know, so we get our drinks or whatever. It's great. Um, and, uh, Starving. And they're like, Starving. oh, I'm sorry, guys. The, uh, the kitchen's closed. And we're like, all right, no big deal. Like, we'll grab something later. And the maid guys are like, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. They walk us next door to the banquet hall that's attached to someone's fucking wedding. Still happening. <laughs> I wish I was exa- exaggerating. Literally the couple's first dance. Every Everybody's like circled around the dance floor and there's these guys shuffling me and Keith in behind them. Al Pacino just fucking walks us straight over to the meatballs and he's just stuffing meatballs in our hands and we're like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good, man. Like I'm, holy shit. And I can see these people staring and they're not going to say anything. They're well, just they going to be like, they know those yep. guys. Yep. That's amazing. At least, they're, they're, they're at least food. you didn't have to shake the wife's fucking hand. Oh, I, I forgot. I did. It, it got worse. So Ryan shakes her what? hand. You actually got like you were close enough to be like in in. T- he he me over. He close over. Close enough. Close enough. I was brought Dude, over. She stops her fucking first dance to come over and serve Ryan and I. <laughs> no. 
She came over to make sure we were getting food. That's how bad this was. It was fucking terrible. I was I've never been so uncomfortable. It was the worst UFC I've ever seen. Didn't oh, stop shit. didn't stop but stopped the song short of like, you know, a good 20 yeah, 25 seconds and like I'm walked so glad over. I wasn't there because oh. of how like just oblivious I would have been because I I'm go back for seconds. You know what I mean? Like it's a We did. Thing. We were so fat back then, Dave. <laughs> We we well, had we're a world talk. We we're like double jeopardy. The crime has already been committed here, man. Like we're not bigger. Ryan and I, Ryan and I sat at the table and had a very long talk about how hungry we are versus what is the proper thing to do here. Can I'm, I'm already good friends in? with the wife. I'm already good friends with the wife at this point. Like, fuck it. Can we just get in there and just grab like four more meatballs? Because I'll be honest, it's an Italian wedding and it's really fucking good. It was food, re- man. really good. Yeah. I got. Oh, I, I still remember, dude. It was like meatballs. It was veal palm. Really good Caesar salad. Like, really good Caesar salad. Oh my salad. god, dude! I'm telling you everything about it, and it's yeah, like, and so we did. We went over for seconds, and sure enough, and I think her mom like made sure that we had a plate. You know, I think some people brought some shit home too in a little aluminum foil. Yes. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that. <sighs> yeah. Just gonna throw it out anyway. Fuck it. Just some not, fucking. We did. Bags, we did not. Know, yeah. We did not. For the record, but. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, so anyway, yeah, that was a good dude. I forgot about it. it. Sounds uh, like the kind of wedding rhyme where you like, you're a made guy when you're in there getting your seconds kind of thing. Where like maybe you wink at the bride and just see what goes on oh. from there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ryan goes in. I didn't steal prima nocta. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the fucking guy. Hey, oh yeah, go banger, you know. And it's uh, I think. Oh my god. I think he. Like, I think. Yeah, I think Ryan, he actually. Ryan like, Ryan I think he like, actually you know, introduced the hungry line. Kind of works. So like, you kind of horny, Keith? Are you kind of <laughs> horny? Like, hey, hey, yo, get the couple. Can we get mates. seconds? Hmm. I think Keith was actually introduced as a movie star too. <laughs> I think I was. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, he's like, like yeah, here's like, Ryan. Like, he's in the movie, and here's the star. Forget about oh. it. Oh yeah. Oh, just whatever I want. All the meatballs I could fit in my pocket, bro. Mm. <laughs> just fucking meatballs for days. That's an I got ideal wedding. In my pocket, like ideal a fucking wedding. Kerchief. You didn't have to spend a dime. Like you, you were oh. up there already doing stuff. Like, yeah, good for you. Um, okay, so as long as I'm on awkward, uh, I'll go with my first one where I, I was uh, similar to you, Dave. Like I'd been to a couple as a kid. Uh, weird after that one where my dad punched the guy. We kind of didn't go to too many more as a family. Yeah, oh, there's um, there was a gap. I'm sure. I'm there's sure, a gap. Yeah. I'm sure I missed the one where my family was blacklisted, which is great. <laughs> yeah, there's a gap in between that dude's teeth, which is why we weren't invited anymore. <laughs> and so uh, I remember uh, I'm working at that bar, um, and I've just started dating a waitress. Uh, I think we'd literally gone out once to see like a movie, you mm-hmm. know, like you know, hung out a couple times at work, one date, and then like at the end of the date, we're just shooting the shit. And she's like, oh, she's like, I have to go to a wedding like on next Friday, Saturday or whatever. Do you want to come? And literally, I was just like, you know, I was like, yeah, I mean, I got a nice pair of jeans. I can, you know, <laughs> sure. uh, I was like, uh, you can per- pull off the yeah. cash. Yeah. Yeah. I think I just had my semi formal. So I, guess, I, like, I can yeah, throw I a jab. Care. I can go to this. I can throw a jab. Yeah. I'm in shape. Yeah. <laughs> I can punch a man who's just having a light conversation with his wife. You got a nice wife. little Ellen DeGeneres vest that you can have. <laughs> oh, I probably vested it. I probably vested it. <laughs> this is like 90210 days. I'm sure I've got the fucking uh, the sideburns the and the Dylan, vest going. The Dylan 101. Oh, the hand in the pocket. Mm-hmm. Smoldering. Oh, it's smoldering. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, uh, so anyway, here's what happens. Um, I obviously don't know anybody. I'm just going to go as, uh, as her uh, date. And, um, uh, this is her, I'm going to say cousin, I think like family for sure. Um, nice wedding and we're waiting outside and everything like that. Beautiful day. And it's, it's kind of going a long time, Mm. like a long time. And I'm like, Oh fuck. Okay. Was it very, was it very religious? Was there a lot of readings? Oh, and like, so here's the thing. I I'm, I'm, I'm not telling it properly. It hasn't actually started. We're just sitting for a really long time. Oh (laughs) golly. I am not kidding. Uh, So my first wedding that I've been to in God knows how long is a groom. No show. (gasps) So, Amazing. The groom doesn't show up. And at first, everybody just thinks, you know, I can hear a few people making like lighthearted, like, ah, they're just, they're out tying one on and they're, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No. And this is before, like, cell phones, so there's no texting back yeah, and forth. Yeah, and yeah. Shit. Like, somebody handed somebody a fucking note. You know what I mean? Oh, dear. Like, who I made didn't see that. I'm was just the, assuming that that's was, what happened. Was there an announcement, and who made the announcement? Yeah. So, um, I'm sitting here, and I'm just like, wow, weddings are weird. You know what I mean? I was like, this is... Like, we just sit here for, like, an hour and a half just we waiting? Mm. This poor fucking cellist that's sitting up front has just played <laughs> Canon in D, like, 45 times. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And, uh, and so, after a little while, um, uh, uh, I guess it's Groom's mom comes up. And uh, it starts, I can see them talking in like, you know, everybody can see them. This is not a fucking hidden show. Yeah, it's yeah, an right outdoor front, wedding. Right so oh, it, good God. there's a show, you know what I mean? Like, there's no back like, room at a church. This is happening. Oh, good God. Yeah. Yeah. So it's happening ish. People are keeping their composure, but it's fucking happening. Um, so keep in mind, I don't know anyone. I barely know the girl I'm there with. So yeah, I'm yeah. just trying to. So uh, mom won't make the announcement. So bride uh bride's father makes the announcement mm. so he gets up to say it right like mom's now in hysterics both right. moms are fucking kind of they're not arguing but they want to argue yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. i mean like they want to argue over whose fault this is um and so uh i remember dad makes the announcement and like fucking i didn't know what happened i'd never experienced anything like a, a wave of tears just goes over the whole fucking crowd. Except. I'm not kidding. When I say every single person is bawling their fucking eyes out, except me, because I don't know anybody. unaffected Keith. I was just like, why, why is it? I was like, yeah, that's, whew. And now I look like the fucking asshole who's oh, just. So I, wish, I wish you were like, oh, classic Todd. Fuck. Oh, I did so much worse, Ryan. <laughs> so much worse. I. I, I know on the last one you said, like, you love my inf <laughs> inflappable confidence. This was not that, Keith. This is, uh, I did this one where I was looking around and I see everybody. And now I've noticed everyone's looking at me because I'm not crying. <laughs> and they're trying to figure out how, and I go, I go. Huh, huh, huh. <laughs> I start doing this ridiculous thing where I can't make myself cry. And I'm like, I just put my head down. You're like, you you're, like you're, you're trying to pull a, techniques like the right, trying to pull a, the right pull, a, pull, a pull a nose hair out, pull a nose I'm hair out. I'm sticking my hand down my pants, trying to yank out pubes so I can get some tears going. And I'm just like, uh, 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 uh. and then my date goes, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I just want to go home. The it's room. exactly like the fucking Italian mafia wedding. I just wanted to go home. Oh. I didn't want anything to do with this. Just reading the room. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's um, no energy in here. This place is dead. <laughs> and then we got married. So, uh, no, I'm just kidding. That, wasn't, that, wasn't. <laughs> uh, that would have been the best. Did not go out again. Like, yeah. She, she actually quit. Uh, it that would have been for amazing her. for you, though. Like, once everybody was looking at you, like, if, if the true Keith would have came up, you yeah. would have just looked her in the eye and, like, got down on one knee. Oh, <laughs> like, my God. Hey, we're, there's a bunch of people here already. <laughs> well, Karen, uh, just these people it. came to see a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Let's do this. <laughs> what do you say, Rhonda? She's like, my name's Rebecca. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I, yeah. We've only been at once, guys. Oh. <laughs> I'm just Josh, and I know it was funny at the time when I said it. <laughs> it might have been the wrong time. I'm sorry. It'll, it'll hit you yeah, on the way home. Gonna, it'll hit you on the way home. You'll be laughing. Cry again? <laughs> You're going to oh. think about – that's my humor. My humor is like a – I don't know, like a tomato plant. You know what I mean? Right. I, I'll say something, and everyone's just like, fuck. And like, just really – like that just looks just like a piece of shit. But, you know, <laughs> give it a few weeks, and you're going to be like, <laughs> I was pretty solid. Now. Slow release. Solid. Slow release. It's an yeah. investment. Uh, I was like, investment. I was promised a fun night of steak and blowjobs. Like, that's I did not get this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like this. And the worst part is, like, we had to drive home, and it was far. You know, it was like, uh, I don't know how far. I, I'm going to guess by, like, maybe an hour and a half to get there and 17 hours to get home. Uh, you know that's how it felt <laughs> did we ever did like did you ever i kind of need closure do you have, like just a no show like just a full on cold feet was that so yeah so best to like i wasn't asking a whole lot of questions that night <laughs> um because uh, so we had to stick around for a while right like this is her family yeah you know and just, they're close right like they're I, I got the impression that family like new family too you know what i mean like this was 
And uh, so my understanding was just, yeah, like he just, I guess he got cold feet. I don't know. Uh, I didn't see the bride. I was like, I didn't, I didn't even see what she was wearing. Right. You know, I was looking forward to that. That would have made me maybe tear up a little. Right. Um, so Big thanks softy. for not helping me out. What the fuck? Uh, no, I wouldn't have given a shit. I was trying to get fucking steak and blowjob. Uh, so, uh, and that yeah, is no, how Keith wrote is- the hangover, everybody. <laughs> oh, no. It's probably how I wrote fucking 60 Hallmark movies. Um, it was uh, – the, the worst part was that I would already, like, paid for the hotel too, right? Because, like, this is, like – you know, that's what you're supposed to do. And I was like, and I was, I was so, I didn't know what to do. Like, I was like, do I ask for her to chip in? <laughs> I was oh. like, or am I just, I was like, uh, I guess I'm just taking this one. See, on the that's chin. the joke right there. Then while you're still in the crowd, everyone's looking at you down on one knee. Like, will you go have these on the hotel with me? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just shut up and go with this. Let's, Let's just go into married. this together. It'll be funny. It'd be so fucking funny. This is a lovely Dutch wedding. What do you say we yeah. go Dutch? And uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. Oh yeah. fuck, that's funny. Um, that's great. Yeah, it was enough that I I think she came for one more shift at work, and then she just I just never heard from couldn't her. Couldn't be again. around you anymore. Her. Had to had to change jobs. <laughs> I I got to assume. Like I mean, I know that my pretending to cry was embarrassing, but I feel like I held it together. Other than that, you uh, know, like I made I made one really job, wrong choice. <laughs> <laughs> if someone quit a job just to like I, you got it you you probably are missing a few details that's about on that me. drive home you know what i mean that's it that's, well, that's yeah, I, I was gonna say keevan or uh, Ke- keith's attempt at the the tight five on the drive home to lighten the humor i'm sure is oh. what and uh, it's like so do we keep the bread machine or uh, like yeah you're not wrong i probably did yeah oh. I probably, that's the exactly did. yeah yeah that's yeah i would have fucked that up <laughs> The cellist yeah, has a permanent time. arthritis. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> flower girl got the worst sunburn of her life. Yeah. yeah, the poor flower girl's still just tossing fucking, stop it, Janet. Stop it. <laughs> All the flowers. You got to go pick those up. She's like, I fucking worked so time. hard on this. Go pick them up. <laughs> those aren't free. <laughs> got to return that shit. Um, amazing. What else, Dave? What about you? Craziest weddings? I don't know, man. I, here's the deal. And you and I mentioned this earlier. I didn't even think about all the weddings I played. Yeah, you know what that's I mean? where like, I got a lot of good stories. Music, too. Being a musician. I've been waiting but, for this one. I've been waiting for I, this yeah. one, boys. And here's, did I, well, fuck, I don't know. I don't want to tell that story. That one's still got a permanent family <laughs> I can story start too. and you can think of it if you want. No, it's, you, you can. I, I want to tell a story about my wedding too. But, uh, okay. But ones I played, like, I've been all over a lot of Ontario. I played one in the Dominican Republic. I played... Ooh. I played, international yeah fucking pitbull over here that was that was a good one that was that was my brother-in-law's <laughs> wedding so um my wife and i had our first child and you know you're new parents you you're you are completely self-absorbed but you're also you have no idea what's going on like you're you're yeah. you're taking care of a new life and you're trying to learn things as you go and yeah. just and, don't kill this That's and then job. apparently at the same time you also have to prepare and pay twenty five hundred dollars a person to go down to your brother's wedding with your newborn infant in the Dominican <laughs> Republic, and your husband entertainer has been asked to play a couple ditties on the right. beach. And it's not when you look back at it now. I'm looking at it, I'm like, of course I'd do that. That's being a part of, of a special sure. memory yeah, and whatnot yeah, yeah. too. Absolutely. At the time when you have a brand new six month old baby and you haven't slept in four or five days, that's like, oh my god, I want to just blow myself up right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so you know, I got the price for bringing down all my gear, the PA and all that stuff to the airport was like, or the airline was, it was, it we just couldn't do it. And Sorry, so, there's nothing on site. At all. Well, this is the thing. We ended up calling down there, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, no problem, yeah, absolutely." Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was because you want. I think I had the smaller uh, fishman or whatever at the time that right. you wanted to borrow, and it was just going to still be cosmic. And I was like, "What are you doing this for?" <laughs> <laughs> I like, love. I think. I think my answer was love. Love. Right. That I, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's love. I don't know. Uh, I don't think they like me at all, but they should. Right. right. My wife's Still a trying nice, to earn points. My wife's a nice person, so I'm doing. I guess That's I fair. gotta do this. Good for you. She's not being nice to me about this. We're doing it. <laughs> so it's a couple songs too, and I, you yeah. know, I love. You gotta them. learn them. I had to learn them, and it's like worst. They're country. What were they? I was gonna songs. say. Yeah. Can you remember uh, them? One's called "Marry Me," and right. I don't know. It's a Johnny something. The... Yeah, I, it, it is. 
uh, for me as an indie rocker, whatever, just in my own little snooty personal music opinion, it was pro- it was having to practice and listen to that song as many times yeah. as I did. Yeah, I've had a couple of those. <laughs> and so, you know, they had their baby, and then went right around the six month mark. He's like, he talked to my wife, and he's like, "Yeah, I can understand that might have been a little bit a lot for you guys." <laughs> Dave, like, why'd oh. you do that? You so anyway, said their, no. Their wedding was incredible, but you know, the day of, all good. I'm crying. I'm trying to cram these tunes, mm. and and trying to oh, remember I you were them. Say I was trying to cry, <laughs> and I'm trying I feel to, <laughs> I'm trying to sing them. And like I'm singing him and memorizing all the words and whatnot. To finally the wedding comes and I we gotta go and set up, and my wife is napping, so I am bringing. I've got a, a carrier <laughs> with my kid and a guitar with some cables and, and my stand and trying to like oh all the this stuff that this I need visual, to Davey. This visual is oh. just and then I'm oh. so now I'm. <laughs> I'm over... As my friends up north would say, uh, Baba Ganoush! I don't so know what they would say. I want to... I'm, I'm like, all right, I got it. I'm, I'm, all right. So, uh, and my brother-in-law's included. He's giving gifts. He got me a watch and whatnot, too. He, wow. he made me feel That's really good. part of it, too. So, like, I want to make this really good. So, I go to this, uh, the lady who's their wedding organizer. I'm like, so there was... Uh, there's uh, a PA for me to plug into so we can play it over because it's on the beach. It's right by the ocean. There's a lot of external noises and it's a public resort. So like there's a lot of noise. Never mind a fucking a jet ski in behind you while you're fucking. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) During spring break. (laughs) There's thoughts and thought lots of things going on. They've done it before. It's a beautiful setting, but it's It's a day. Yeah. Yeah. So you need a PA that's going to reach the, the at least to sure. You want the bride to be able to hear what's going on. Yeah. And they just look at me like just with big eyes like, oh, what? Like just play loud? I'm like, I'm like, that wasn't the arrangement I was made aware of today. <laughs> you have to please help me out. Anyway. Have you uh, ever played a really nice, soft love song real loud? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I'm going to so I'm going to get my James Hetfield on and try to James yeah. Taylor, <laughs> James Taylor, some chords. But I'm going to maybe walk around like I can just imagine right now. All I'm thinking is I'm going to have a baby Bjorn, my guitar. <laughs> And like just looking at each individual person and then following the bride down kind of like, you know, like that would have been amazing. Like the minstrels in like the Holy yeah. Grail, like brave, yeah, yeah, brave yeah. Sir Robin. You know, I I'll love be this right idea. behind the bride. I want to get married again just so this happens. Anyway, any, they do get a PA. It sounds great. We get through it all. They don't have a microphone. So the sure. moment they tell me they don't have a microphone, I'm like, disco. No problem. I'm playing the chords <laughs> right behind it. And right into like, your mic to hear it get picked up on the yeah, guitar. There's, right? I'm like, <laughs> I am at this point. I'm like, I am. There's nothing I can do about this. It's no problem. So I'm just playing the music. Uh, Incredible. My brother-in-law and my my sister-in-law were super cool with with how everything went, which was great. Which was ultimately Good. the most important. But that was. Uh, this is like you have to understand my nature that I'm usually pretty cantankerous about most situations that are really great. So when I'm put up against things or asked to, uh, to do things from people. <laughs> And uh, I, I just mentally and internally, I don't respond well. And I gotta uh, like, say, because Dave, the the visual of you with the baby and the gear walking is second only to my vision of like you at Santa's village, knee deep in fucking <laughs> mud, chasing after the Swan battle boat. Exact knee and mud and children carry them out. Yeah. <laughs> exact same mentality going through my, you know, the exact same I think phrases going through my mind at the time. Like this is my life. This is what I am. This is <laughs> what joy is now. This is oh, that's the, so great. <laughs> um, it, it, so it, yeah, not, not 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 to. It was an experience for sure. I'm really glad sure. that we did it. But you know, it's funny the where you are in your life and how you actually. I'm like, I would love to go back to the Dominican. I'm like, six month old. I've had a second kid. I'm like, that'd be no problem. I'd like bounce around I'm like a finger like a basketball. Now looking <laughs> back at it, you know what I mean. But at the time, it's probably the it's like climbing Everest is for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fucking at the second or third kid, I'd have fucking Gray up there playing piccolo beside yeah, me exactly. at six You're months old. The like, <laughs> fucking earn your earn your vacation. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Ryan, since you hit on that one, that was going to be one of my things. Uh, uh, same as Dave, you used to just get a lot of asks, a lot of work for hire. Just can you play at our either the wedding itself, or you know, I didn't do a lot of like I didn't do a ton of um, like full band stuff, like wedding singer style. I would usually just do it. At the wedding, play just them down you and a guitar. And kind of done for the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah or sometimes, it, I mean, look, sometimes it's fucking awesome, man. Like, you would get some of those people that are, like, got a lot of money, and they, they want to spend a lot of money because they want it to be extravagant. So you can go out and you can hire, a like, a cellist and a violin player and stuff, and it's going to sound fantastic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Hands down, a lot of pressure to it, but always there's always going to yeah. be wedding food. So that's, like, yeah. one of those perks. It's always going to be like, good. 
I've been to weddings where I've played weddings before too, where I've like I've kind of looked at like the people that are my liaison for the wedding because usually the bride and groom they hire you, yeah, and then there's a liaison there to help you get all set right. up with that right, kind right, of right. stuff. And so, like, you know, you're waiting for them to tell you about where the food and the drink is after you get all right. set up. Like, mm-hmm. help yourself to those kind of things. I I was at one wedding. I played. This one was great because he he kind of shows me around. He's like, okay, well, you're going to play here. And it's behind a bush, like a fern. <laughs> like, you're going to sing and play. Like, you're great. But he's like, you're, we want you here. We don't want anyone to really see you. Sorry. It is It is funny. Did you, it did, you hire like a, did you hire a singer or a sniper? I'm confused. Well, like. the, I, I, and I, for me, I'm all self-conscious. I'm like, all right, I get also it. Also, put your fingerprints on this gun. A little Serrano de Bergiac kind of thing. I'm going to set the mood right. over here and yeah. just don't let anyone see the chud over. Just ignore the man behind the... <laughs> in the fern and i'm waiting like so i get all set up and i do a little they eye you up and down before they tell you where to go they're like hey you're the wedding singer <laughs> right over here so like they move the mic the, off the stage he's part of <laughs> he's part he's part of the wedding party obviously and it's kind of classic like you can just tell i don't remember the like, guarantee his name was josh or chad or something like that right yeah. and yeah. so <laughs> I Telling you all in, about the time he was in a band in the fucking high school. Or literally not or giving me the time of day. Like, I think yeah. he maybe showed me where to plug things in. And so after I get set up, do a little sound check. And, like, I know the songs. I'm singing a little bit. And, like, it's a cool couple. So there's cool songs that they chose. So anyway, I walk That's over good. to him. And I'm looking because all the guys are drinking. You know, they're drinking. The groomsmen are drinking some beers. And, like, we're yeah. going to get started in about an hour. Like, okay, great. And then just, he's like, yeah, if you just want to wait in the meantime. Like, I'm standing right beside the bar. You know, I'm like, okay. They're like, like, is it? And so they leave. Is it? Is it? Oh, okay. Open. And so I, 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 there's a bartender there. I'm like, is it pay bar? He's like, no. I'm hmm? like, okay. Um, then why haven't you started asking me what I want? Yeah, yeah no I'm like, can I get a drink right now? He's like, oh, we're not serving yet. I'm like, okay. No, no problem. After the wedding, same exact thing. He's like, yeah, no. <laughs> like, I got, I got. Oh, my God. Just try that's fucking great. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I got a few of these stories. So, to go back to the first one, yes, Ryan, I was asked uh, to play someone's first so- first dance, bride and groom first dance, and they want it to be their song. Mm-hmm. And so, I'm like, okay, like, I'm, I'm fine. I'll learn whatever song you want me to learn. That's common, and obviously. They tell yeah. Me, yeah. And they tell me it's this uh, Lips of an Angel song. <laughs> and now, admittedly, at the time, I am not familiar with this song. I don't know it. I'm like, okay, sure. Like, that's fine. I'll, I'll go home and learn it. Um, and so, uh, and so I go home and, uh, I, I think I heard it on the radio. I just happened to hear it. And then I was like, okay, this is, a, I was like, yeah, that's easy enough to learn. Didn't give it much thought. Mm-hmm. Went and bought the stupid fucking CD or whatever it was. And I start listening to try and figure it out. And I was like, what, what, what are the lyrics to this? <laughs> My girlfriends. <laughs> so it starts over, it's like, honey, why you calling me? so late right away it's all about you can't call me at my house (laughs) and it's like my girl's in the next room sometimes i wish she was you and i was like what the only thing that could have been better keith is if you would have been the bride's ex Oh, the better thing was the phone call I had to make to make sure that they were aware that I wasn't sure I had the right song. The mother of the bride is just staring a hole through your head while you're playing. Well, because then the worst fucking scenario goes through my head. What if I show up and play this song and they're talking about some fucking Garth Brooks song that I don't know called Lips of an Angel. That's some beautiful song. Yeah, there could be 80 of those. You're and not I'm wrong. And I'm singing you're adultery, wrong. you know what I mean? And sure enough, nope, nope. And so it gets so much better. Like, I'm just like, hey, I just want to make sure... Uh, you know, uh, we talk about a lot of things. Um, I just, I, I get confused, confused about the one fucking song. Yep. And um, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still going to play whatever the, you know, canon. As just come instant, yeah, no the, problem. No the problem. bride's like instant regret when you make the phone call about right? the one song that she asked a musician to play. <laughs> and I was like, uh, just to be clear, it is Lips of an Angel by whatever the fuck that band is. You yep. know, the not Pearl Jam Creed band. Yep. And, uh. And she's like, yeah, oh my God, we, that was our song. We love it. That's where we, you know, met and danced. And I was like, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, I, I- The am, one we used to dance to at our dirt bar. <laughs> I am, I am, you are right. I am, I am comfortable. Mm-hmm. I am confident in most scenarios. Even if I don't know it, I can fake it. 
And that was the one time when I got ready to like, you know, I'm here in the fucking MC and I'll be honest, he's really fucking good. Yeah. It makes it almost, they've got like fucking uh, yeah, Michael Buffer doing like, they've got a guy who's great at ladies and gentlemen, Kathy, whatever, you know what I mean? It's like, Ooh, fuck, that guy's good. And then I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, and I, even at that point, I'm like, I'm looking at them. I'm like, please tell me this is really this song. You know, and they're like, mm, they're so fucking they're like this. Like, like, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I start singing this song about adultery. And so now I have a second wave of reaction because the entire crowd is also picking up on yeah, what every, I'm playing. Everybody else is in on the joke, but them like, Jesus Christ. They are staring into each other's eyes. God bless them. I don't know what the scenario was, but that was their jam. And everybody else in the crowd is just doing this. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> slow release and like, then, and like a dave joke I see a slow lot release this, i see a lot of like the fuck did he just is that well it's all because they know the backstory that brian Grimm <laughs> is kathy a whore <laughs> is kathy i didn't know she was a whore uh and yeah so i was just like and i end and there was an an awkward like whoa that was a lot of these that are just polite probably people not listening mm. and there were a few like no man like you should have resisted you know like they counted on me to shut that down the worst yeah. part is you you can't you can't like preference like the bride and groom have chosen this song <laughs> <laughs> the bride and groom have confirmed this song repeatedly through multiple Best phone calls like a, to it's like a this Mac gentleman password. and his whore yeah <laughs> i don't know which one of you cheats but good luck <laughs> My girls in the um, Okay, so, so you I guys played, guarantee a quick, a quick one off. Go ahead. I oh, played, I got yeah, I got two more great ones. I for played. Weddings. I played a great, a great another great wedding. Food drink was great, but the song uh, that they chose for their first dance was a song called "Blower's Daughter," which is phenomenal. Great, great tune. Song, yeah, like I can't take my eyes off of you. Right, beautiful. And yeah. then. I do remember I played that song, and then the final, the final word. I don't know why I I felt like compelled to really be uh, true to the lyrics of the song because you know what they love the song. They didn't ask me to change anything. The final line of that song is "Till I find somebody new," and then <laughs> Grandma, Grandma did like it was a visible snap of the neck over to me. <laughs> you know oh, what I mean? And she's old, so she breaks her neck. <laughs> yeah. Grandma just It was a grandma I'm like right beside her table And she just looked like Gave me one of those <laughs> Quick up to the left Like I, I'm Not like I added Like I improv that Just yeah, to fuck yeah, up yeah, the yeah. day I have no problem I will change lyrics If I feel like there's some shit That's like Shady in the song I have no problem I couldn't do it for Lips of an Angel Obviously mm -hmm. that was Like that was a deep end of sharks You know what I mean Like that was There was no No fixing that one I was gonna be like You're the girl in My room Um <laughs> <laughs> it would have been Boy, terrible. I'm glad it's you. <laughs> I never ever cheat on anyone. Um, okay, I'll throw Jesus one in because I'm, I'm sure you guys have. For you. <laughs> you guys will guarantee have more gig stories, so I'll just throw this one in here. Uh, I was asked to uh, MC three times in three years, which I'm sure you guys have as well. Yep. Uh, I actually love it. I'll take MCing any day. MCing yeah, is amazing. Never been asked. Don't have it. close enough friends. No, it was, well. <laughs> So I've heard. Yeah. I uh you can MC my wedding, Dave, don't worry. Uh so I did three <laughs> in three years. Uh one I did great, one was average, and one was just fucking awful. So I'll tell you about the I awful. have no interest in hearing about no, the good you do not. Or, or no, great. you do not. So the uh Welcome to the Leclerc wedding now serving number forty five. <laughs> Couple forty five. So I uh the fir the first problem is I'm a little cocky because the last one went so well, so I'm yeah, I'm too confident. It. And yeah, second of all, yeah, exactly. And cocky also, Ryan, I would love to see cocky Ryan. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be great. This is you're looking at it right now. This is as close as I get. Uh, so be like a drunk Michael Sarah. Does that you know? guy think that he's that guy thinks he's on fire right now? <laughs> if it's like, it's oh, I, I did not, I did not make that mistake at any point. Like it was. I was, uh, both me and the groom, we went out the night before with a bunch of his friends and don't ever do it as w deep as we did into the hour. It was like five in the morning when we finally shut it down. So I feel like a bag of shit. I know he feels like a bag of shit. So he's like, 
trying to stay awake like during the wedding and stuff like that and i'm just i I, i'm not i'm not into it like i can barely talk much less deliver a joke (laughs) not into it (laughs) no i'm like i want to be so badly but like i should be in the hospital this guy did a Larry David on a comedian night where he just doesn't love the cloud. And it's just like, eh, nah. Yeah, just... Well, funny. Cause I cut my set short. I had oh, like the, great. I like had, you know, my notes in front of me in front of the podium yeah, yeah. and I'm like with a pen. I'm just scratching out like fucking eight minutes of shit. Ooh. And like, I'm just, I'm not doing well at all. I'm getting like polite laughs and stuff like that. And he's an old friend. So I had a bunch of jokes and I'm like, nope, 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 nope. So mm. before, before the wedding, the funny part, and I, I, I ate a bag of shit. It was so bad. It was, uncomfortable for me so yeah. he uh before the wedding the bride comes up to me and she's like uh, i've always wanted this you know I, i'll know it's coming but i i love this joke i've seen it at other weddings like can you put your hand in hers okay that's the last time you'll ever have the upper hand in the wedding so i have to close on that joke and i do and it wow. fucking kills it is the only part that burns like the house down <laughs> and i'm like really <laughs> really you people i was like it was in windsor oh. i was like almost like okay fuck you windsor and like push the podium over and like leave and it was mm. so going so. up there trying to do fucking great louis ck and you gotta end on a sin bad joke you <laughs> <Yeah>. know <laughs> oh yeah and sorry one more quick wow. one this is super yeah. super quick uh i was at a wedding in... can you give us one of your great jokes that bomb- I, I literally wish i could remember oh, believe that me that great. paper was crumpled up and thrown yeah. the fuck out <laughs> and as dave erases memories with alcohol so did i that night that's fair. Uh, the the drunkest I've ever seen a uh, father of the bride is the theme of this one. Oh, he, yeah. That's this was, I think I, I think I was texting Keith throughout the night because this was in Innisfil. And I think I called it like the real housewives of Innisfil, Ontario. Like it's, it's like Innis, Innisfil money. It was at like the right. golf course and like guys <laughs> in construction who made their money yeah. in construction. And anyway, so the father of the bride, the father of the bride just torn down drunk by 5:30 right. in the afternoon For absolutely sure. shit-faced and he uh he gives a long nonsensical speech about uh I don't even fucking oh I lost you I got a battery warning yep. here 2 seconds yeah. that sounds about right in the middle of the story that's good uh, okay so he classic has a, Leclerc monologue wah, wah. <laughs> that happened during the MC gig too uh, yeah my, that happened there too <laughs> my battery was not at 20% for that believe me uh so he gets and he's got all of his construction buddies there and stuff like that and this happens at every wedding this is like if you play wedding bingo is like two guys you know kind of start dancing with each other in a funny way like maybe they'll right. you know grab each other's ass and the guys are doing that and like <laughs> and it's it's escalating <laughs> now they're doing like the fucking lombada the <laughs> patrick swayze and like forbidden dance yeah i turn oh around God. and i get a drink i look around and i it's they're not dancing they're just rubbing dicks like this they're standing <laughs> facing each other and they are just rubbing dicks there's no dancing and i'm like this this is something else just so we're all clear this is not part of wedding bingo this is something else <laughs> This finally gonna fucking happen, John? Huh? <laughs> hey, these Can't people. Fucking... These people came to see a wedding. <laughs> Go tell your fucking dad we're just friends now, John. These wool pants make you feel everything. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit! You're not getting out of this. I know how to get you. <laughs> I would love to say it was one guy too drunk and like the other guy being like, eh, no. But they were both like leaned nah. back. <laughs> I've done just some different moves like that at a wedding, though, like, a for capital sure. capital H, you know? Like, just yeah, exactly. slapping it together. <laughs> the best wedding I, I, my wife and I, if, you know, these days we're kind of like, we punch in, we punch out, we've got the wedding routine kind of down. But right. back in the day, like, especially after our wedding, once you kind of get, like, oh, okay, you know, you know what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to have fun. My wife and I have, like, if we got asked, I remember at Scott's wedding, we got asked if we had a dance routine down because I was so fucking on point. <laughs> and I'm four or five Ryan Just... Gingy's deep. I got a couple gin and tonics. Right. Dave, with no inhibitions, apparently can, A, I can keep time because I'm a musician. So I don't look <laughs> awkward dad dance like I do when I'm sober. 
Yeah. But like I was going down on the floor, back up. I was dipping her, twirling her around. <laughs> I would love a video of it because it's probably the most embarrassing thing ever. I'd love ever. a video of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah. oh, my God, am I the most The mental image versus reality. Like, you're actually yeah. throwing her into tables and knocking people's <laughs> drinks over. Like, if it's a if it's a wedding I'm comfortable at, I, I am definitely going to be noticed by the majority of the group on the dance floor. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm not going to be a wallflower. I'm going to be, at some point... I will be the center of attention somehow because that's just my nature. It's re- I've seen him. I've seen him tear it up. He does it. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, a, it's a good show. Yeah. It's not a bad show at all. Actually, I'd love to make fun, but it's it's a good show. <laughs> I like it. I, I'll, I'll attend every time. My wedding was good. I'll tell you a quick story about my wedding. Um, I don't ever do it first and foremost, Ryan. So you don't have to. The way that I'm gonna, uh, well, oh, a, I just, thought that's where he was getting betting. Yeah. Just yeah, okay, sold. <laughs> Way I was trying to put a little time in there too, so you yeah. could take it. You could take it th- that way. My wife and I did. Uh, my stepmom is like one of the kindest, most giving people ever. She doesn't always put all the scenarios together of what she envisions. So her envision of my wedding was to be done out in the open. She had a. She ran a golf course at the time, mm-hmm. so. <laughs> This, I, now in retrospect knowing that this decision kind of started the spike that really ended her marriage at the time because her oh and her partner boy. didn't want it she closed down half the golf course beautiful spot either way we bust Gorgeous. people from oh, the yeah. golf course it, because it was down a path you had to take everybody all the way down to the end of the golf course it would have been like a 20 minute walk if you had to oh it was do oh, a, carts, yeah. golf yeah, carts. Yeah, it was yeah, farther yeah, yeah. it was farther and, than 20 yeah, there was a there was a shuttle bus, but I guess not everybody got it. Oh, and it was the hottest day recorded in the last twenty years. Yeah, it was wonderful wedding. But you you I can see what you're saying with the the not planning. I mean, through no fault, and we were not complaining. We were just like looking at the lineup of seventy people yeah. and the one shuttle bus, and we were just like, a group of us were just like, maybe we'll just walk it. It's a beautiful golf course. Like I wouldn't, mind. and it actually was. Don't get yeah. me wrong, it was great. Yeah, but it was. I mean, you got married at like the 18th hole. That's all I'm saying, or whatever the <laughs> no, furthest the one away is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was. Yeah, yeah. No. it was the. It was at the very tippy top, and it was gorgeous backdrop. And I'm glowing. I'm like, this is my first real moment to start relaxing and really enjoying what the day was. And as Ange first starts telling me about how beautiful things were, I look at her dead in the eye, and I don't see Steve coming on with a full backhand and he hits me so hard in the nuts I've missed the step backwards and I fall down the oh. stairs all the way down to the bottom we used to play bag tag all the time in yep. our band like where we're loading check we're your bag. loading things up like yeah. just check your bag all that stuff like little flicks yeah. and so Steve I, I, I was there Steve I had opened the, the, the luxury Steve opened the window and just full on Serena William backhand me right in the <laughs> I, nuts it's funny it's and so Ange, funny because I was wife, like how can I his wife yeah. looked in, like horrified she had no idea like I was just thinking, I was like, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe that sound. Because I was there, and I was like, it literally, it sounded like when you're watching, like, you know, Serena Williams or somebody like that who's like, yeah, you're going to, like, this is going to be a good tennis match, yeah. you know what I mean? And just that first, hi! And you just hear the ball just get, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. just fucking annihilated. That's exactly the sound. That's I think Steve even made, like, like, a, like a Monica sells, huh? you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those. It was bad. Ooh. I think I heard a pop. You yeah. know what I mean? No, I was like, like ooh. I we didn't like, consummate, I we didn't consummate that night, and I'm glad. Like, I, I probably <laughs> needed a couple days. It was, um, it was, that was the, <laughs> it was a gift. And I was in such a glow, too, that, like, I just looked up from him, like, from, a- in agony, but, like, really proud. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> there is a certain then, amount of respect that goes with that, unfortunately. Like that, yeah, then you're, yeah, yeah. you're, hey, you shouldn't be mad. Then your balls became the something blue. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> very nice. My shields, like I'm not one to have my shields ever completely down around these jackals. But my shields were completely <laughs> was, down. Was I was bad, so, man. I was so vulnerable. Was really I was emotionally as high man. as I think I've ever been. It and, hasn't been uh, down since the guard has not no. been down since. <laughs> Steve, oh. Steve just saw a window and just like the hyena he is, he jumped right through it. Yeah. yeah, it was like an Indiana Jones whip crack. Yeah, it was uh... <laughs> by far my favorite was this last one that I'll tell where it went. Uh, these people definitely didn't think I did great. Um, so uh, they asked me to they play they she wants to come down to the aisle um, to uh, Heaven by Brian Adams that mm. I don't love the song to begin with, but fine. You know, like I've learned it. 
it's it's a fairly simple song, so it's not that hard. I haven't put much effort into learning it, admittedly, because um, it's not that difficult. I get there, and um, I've got my guitar and stuff like that, and I go to set up at the front, and they're like, oh, no, no, no. Like, they've got a beautiful piano that they, they brought down for you. And I was like, oh, cool. I was like, I don't, I don't play that though. Oh, it's because it's like, who's, who's, who's my accompaniment? Yeah, I was like, wow, that's, yeah, I was like, that's yeah. fucking awesome. I can't wait. Like, should we, do we have time to run this with them or anything? Or, and they're like, no, 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 no. She's so specific. You do not. Oh my God. Did you guys not talk about this? I was like, no, we really didn't like at all. Oh my God. And, uh, and she's like, and she's like, she will. And this is just like, I'm going to guess she was like 22, 23, mm. you know, like just, just complete bridezilla mode. You know what I mean? Now, I don't want to ruin anybody's fucking day. But you but also I'm didn't trying spend to 10 years very... learning how to play piano, for fuck's sake. I'm being very clear that I do not play this instrument. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, I have learned where, like, I, I think somebody showed me where, like, the C was and how to make, like, kind of the three chord yeah. uh, piano at this point. And so I was like, and eventually... I, I just, because of uh, my incredible upbringing, confrontation is not my strong suit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, especially when a woman starts yelling, I will cave. And uh, so this sister of hers is fucking, she's getting ready to scream. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, I promise it's going to sound great. Like, you know what I mean? And I think one of like the other bridesmaids, but she's in the party was like, I can play the piano like while he sings. And she's like, no, you're fucking standing up there. This is fucking ridiculous. And I'm like, okay, you know what? It's okay. I'll figure it out. And I was like, just, can I have like a few minutes to go and like try and, and they're like, well, people are starting to fucking get seated. So I don't know oh what you're going to do. God. And I was like, I was like, well, I'm getting a fucking crash course right. Goddamn now is what I'm doing. <laughs> and so I start, and you know how usually you're like, man, people take like a really long time. This one was like, let's get this shit over with. Yeah, she yeah, was yeah. ready. I don't know how to play this fucking song. So in my head, I'm like, do I just hit? one note and sing and fucking hope that I'm getting just, it right. I'm picturing you rehearsing like close encounters of the third kind oh. where, where, where the aliens and the humans first well, start commuting. Dun, 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 I, I have dun. to now make it sound like my noodling where I'm learning is also just nice music for these people to yeah, come sit down. To while they're being it's, seated. it's your relaxed swagger. Of like, oh, this is God. supposed to be nice. You know what I mean? And I was like, I'm like, fuck. And at one point I was like, I'm just going to stop and I'm just going to take out my guitar and fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even going to get paid. I'm just going to run out when I'm done because <laughs> I don't want my mom to yell at me. And so I, I, I will say I have not tried to play this song. I've since learned how to play the piano a little better, but I have not played this song since that day. Maybe to end this podcast, I will just do exactly what I did right then and <laughs> just do. try and guess how this goes. <laughs> Please do. And so... The best part is because I haven't really put too much effort into it because I was comfortable enough on guitar. Well, no shit. I don't you've never played the fucking piano before. <laughs> I've I've played it in the sense of like, oh wow, you have a piano. How does this work? You know what I mean? And then I was like, oh, okay, ding, ding, ding. Like that's about as far as I can. I think I learned Richard Marx. <laughs> um, <laughs> wherever you go, what? And I was like, do you guys want that song? I kind of know that one. Um, uh, I, so I think I, I I'm like. The best I can do now is I'm like, I have to take out my guitar just to find the chords. I'm like, yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah. know what the fucking chords are. And so now I'm struggling with what are the fucking lyrics while I'm trying to figure out where how to play this goddamn song. So I just start going because I see her walking out and I'm like, here we go. <laughs> I was like, oh, thinking about the winner. <laughs> We've been down this road before. Got me turning around. Coming back for more. <laughs> Baby, you're all that I want. Lying here in my... And, it was, it's, and uh, I, I don't think I stuttered, but I think I definitely just sang in whatever key I hit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I was like, I'm just going to adjust. I just walked down, walked down, walked down the whole time. There was nothing and fancy. You just Springsteen mumbled the lyrics. Like, Here's oh, my, yeah. I, I, kind, I think I got most of them. But my favorite part was afterwards. Uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm so ashamed. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, I just want to get the fuck out of here. This is the worst. This is ever gone. Well, because your question, and, like, uh, is she right? Like, there's 50% of the people listening to this. Like, you're a musician. You should be play, able to play a clarinet, a bassoon, a piano, a harp, whatever. <laughs> when I asked you to wrong. play that. I had a piano in my house just because we had one. Right. And I was like, it's on me. I should have learned how to play this piano. Right. Because uh, a woman has yelled at me. She's obviously right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is how my, my brain works. 
So right after that, I went home and I started learning how to play piano. Um, and, uh, but then, because then too, I'm like, I'm like, I'm positive that I, she knew I was a guitarist. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even great at guitar. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I am, I am an average guitarist at best. I'm like, I will get you down the aisle. That can't, part's not a problem. Can't confirm. Yeah. No, I don't need to be. Uh, I got the lips of an angel. I'm fine with the other part. Um, <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, so anyway, at the end of it, uh, the, the mother comes over and I'm like, that, I'm fucking getting punched. Like, mm-hmm. I was like, I'm just waiting for my beating. And, uh, and she goes, she goes, that was honestly one of the most beautiful ver- renditions of that song that I have ever heard. She's like, that was the most unique, <laughs> incredible take on that song. What a I've brave ever heard. choice. What a brave <laughs> That's choice. That's exactly what it was. I like, I think she might've thought I was transgender or something. Yeah. Like she was just uh, giving me all the extra, like, you found the I'm one going to give this, you found the one jazz fan out of the whole ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Oh, I can't hear that song now without just getting my fucking butthole clinched real tight. Did you, you know? ever like, talk I to just... the bride after it? No. no, no, of course not. I think she liked it. You know, she liked it enough. You I got think she had enough other things to, to scream pass. about that day. What was that? Oh, she got a good enough voice to, to make here. a pass. No, no, what, no, what, like no matter what, but like it was the pool fine. of diarrhea <laughs> that is in your ass afterwards is probably not worth oh, it. hundred percent. hundred percent. I think, I think people enjoyed it enough that where they were like, wow, what a different take, you know, <laughs> what an unusual, I bet he's better at guitar. That's probably what they thought. <laughs> so, um, Here's let's make a pact right now. Yeah. Ryan, mm-hmm. we'll end the podcast with this. When you decide to get married to whatever you want to marry. Oh, you, you I love sure that you're making Keith it my I... decision. That's adorable. It's my decision. That's adorable. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you make sure. Okay, Keith, David. Keith and I get to play a song at your wedding. Can you, can that happen, please? Can we make a pact right now? Please. We have an accord. We have an accord. All right. Sold. Honey, why you calling me <laughs> so late? Step inside. Walk this way. <laughs> you one trick, babe. Hey, hey. No, we, we, need a, we need a hat trick from Keith. Third time's a charm. You'll really, you'll crush it. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. If you pick heaven, I've got it, buddy. Mm-hmm. I will, uh, I'm going to end it. I'll record me tomorrow. I'll just, just give this a shot. And just the best vengeance would guess. be like, we show up and like, there's no, and there's nothing other than like some, like a harp. Two, t- <laughs> two recorders. <laughs> a trombone. I want you to play these all night. Go. A harp and a set of bagpipes. Go, yeah. guys. <laughs> Make them sound good. My, we're uh, Scottish. My, my fiance my really, really likes brass. So a couple of clarinets. <laughs> oh. Good God. All yeah. right. We good? Anybody else got anything else embarrassing about weddings? So much, but. Yeah. Yeah, we should get more on this one. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Uh, The other guys probably got some good stories, too. Okay, uh, that is going to wrap it up. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, And we will see you next time. Take care. Don't do it. (laughs) (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, Heaven by Brian Adams. That's how I ruined a wedding. <laughs> <laughs>